Today we'll cover the difference between a pointer to a string literal and a string in a char array in C. We're going to want to print stuff out today, so first we'll hash include stdio.h. Let's give ourselves the two things we're talking about today. char star stir1 equals the string literal high. Next, char stir2 array equals another string literal high. If we try to print out both of these, then run the code, we'll find that both of these are similar and that both stir1 and stir2 act like pointers to the first character of the string literal. The first difference, though, comes in how you're allowed to modify the two. C will be perfectly fine with you modifying stir2 by changing the h to a t. So, stir2 sub 0 equals the character t. If we run this code, you'll see it works fine and we get both strings printed out. If we flip this though and try to modify the first character of stir1, that's where we'll start to run into problems. It will compile fine, but on my janky install on Windows, nothing prints out. If we were to debug this code in GDB, we would find here that this line, line 8, causes seg fault. I don't know how well you know your C, but generally a seg fault comes from touching memory that you aren't supposed to. It turns out, when you define a string to just be a character pointer to a string literal, most, if not all, C compilers will not allow you to modify said memory. So now we have the two types laid out. S1 is a character pointer to a string literal that cannot be modified, and S2 is simply a character array stored on the stack. Since S1 is a pointer, although we cannot modify the string directly, we can still do pointery things to it. For instance, we can change S1 to now point to the string literal by. If you look at the assembly of this code, it's basically saying assign the memory address of the string literal high to the stir1 variable, then assign the memory address of the string literal by to the stir1 variable. So you're not really modifying stir1, you're making it point to a different memory address. To contrast that, stir2 works exactly oppositely. You can change its contents, but you cannot make it point to a different memory address. One final difference I'll talk about is how the size of operator works on stir1 and stir2. Since stir1 is a pointer, it will only tell you the size of the pointer and byte. For the character array, stir2, size of, provided you are not first passing the array to a function, will tell you the total size and bytes of every element in the array, plus one for the null terminator. This has been Jakubication. Like and subscribe to learn more.